Coco beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm extremely happy and grateful that you decided to spend some time with me. Uh, my name is Katie and today is the second look of my four super quick holiday looks that I'm creating this year. All the products were mentioned in the video before. Go check it out if you still haven't. We're using the same 10 products to create different looks for your convenience just so you would know that you don't have to go out and buy more products. You can totally recreate all those four looks with the products that you already have. I gave you tips, tricks, and ideas. And uh, please keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Foundation through the center of your face first, blending it outwards. You can fill in your eyebrows to your liking. It could be just a brow gel. It could be tinted eyebrow gel, pencil, powder, whatever you feel like and whatever works for you and whatever whatever is the fastest and easiest and the most natural way um, for you. But as always, I use the Benefit eyebrow gel with Glossier Brow Flick because this is my combo for the rest of the eternity because I don't feel that my eyebrows are uh, growing out anytime soon. Concealer, bringing forward all the places that we want to highlight and make as smooth as possible. Around the eyes, corners of the eye, a bit, just to lift up to your eye. I don't like the smile line, so we're gonna apply a bit here, here, down the nose, and all of it. Center of, uh, in between, kind of in between the eyebrows, center of the forehead, I like to lift the corners of the mouth. Let's powder. I'm gonna powder my eyelids as well. Because I'm not using a primer, and using concealer and setting it with a powder basically does the job of a primer. Just a tip. With the same brush and the same product, put it right into your crease and pull it out. Accentuate your eyes and it will also pull the whole look together. Blusher, same palette, we'll be using this baby here. I also like to place my blusher a bit higher. I never used to like blush just because I have um, red cheeks naturally, but when you get older, you can appreciate it more. Like it really creates this youthful, rested look. But it's all about the placement. I like blush when I control it. I don't like it when it comes from the heat or the frost or winter or whatever. Like I like when I place it exactly where I want it and it stays there. Last look was pretty simple with the wing. I mentioned Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil that it can be used anywhere. So today I will be using it on my eyes and my lips. Okay, so I'm gonna apply it in between my eyelashes. So I apply it as a wing closer to the root of my lashes and then I go up, 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 and filling in this corner right here. Do you see it? But again, I can't stress that enough. You have to make sure that your pencil, you have to make sure that your pencil is not waterproof, that you can actually play around with. Like a Teddy from MAC is a really good color or Costa Riche is an amazing color for that. It's like, it creates a beautiful base, it's gorgeous. Okay, do you see what I'm doing? I've just blended it with a fluffy brush and I've applied a bit what I blended inside the crease. Don't go all the way in, just the outside corner here. You see the difference in the eyes? Okay. And again, we're blending everything out and up. Let's do the same thing for the other eye. 
again closer to the root of the lashes it doesn't have to be perfect because we are blending everything out make sure that the shape is even okay in between the lashes on your bottom lash line Because this pencil is so soft, it is so easy to move it around. Okay, so the shape is there. Let's just move on to the eyeshadows that we picked. Okay, I'm gonna go for this minky glittery color right here. And I'm just gonna apply this product very, very close to my lash line. And I will move up. Do you see? basically going over where you placed your pencil it's just the pencil there will create a really beautiful base to stick to and then with the same blending brush that we use for a pencil just go very very lightly try not to disturb the product so much don't drag these eyeshadows all over your eyes we don't want that we still want this part of the lid to be light and then move it around towards the shape you want end up with a really dark eye but you want to create this blown out catty eye look and all you need is just a one fluffy brush okay let's do the same thing with the other eye Always make sure that your eyes are even. Just look straight ahead into the mirror a little bit down and just... So with a smaller brush, I'm gonna use a pencil brush and the same color that I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna tap it in and tap it out on my hand just to make sure that I'm not depositing the crazy amount of color that I won't be able to blend out. I'm going to apply it underneath where I applied the pencil. Okay, and when you blend, you can drag it low. That's fine. And honestly, it makes your eye bigger. You shouldn't be scared of applying it low. As long as your eyelid stays lighter color, like right here, you're good. It doesn't have to be neat and perfect, but it has to be blended out. Like you don't want any harsh lines at all. You can use a concealer brush just in case if you had any fallout. Be careful just to pick it up not drag it around just applying the same pencil inside my waterline yeah you see the difference this eye has the pencil inside this one doesn't yeah eyelash curler mm -hmm. mascara same mascara hourglass unlocked ultra black go for mascara that applies a lot of product you would want something to give you more volume rather than length you see the difference no mascara I like that the eyes are there I like that they are gonna be the focus of the look what I am gonna do with the same pencil, that's how great it is, I'm gonna line my lips. Right now, I like a pouty look and it's very in right now, so you want to overline a little bit over your cupid's bow and a little bit at the bottom lip, but then the sides you would connect just as you would normally connect uh, your own lip shape. And then it doesn't look that they are overdrawn, but they would give you that filtered look. gonna soften the lines. The lipstick that I picked is more of a balmy kind of lipstick. It's necessary to 
to blend out the liner. Remember the palette I picked? So I'm gonna grab this gorgeous bronzer color and I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more color because I think that this look can handle it. It's so weird how different I look in my mirror and in the camera. I'm not sure. I really hope that what I see is exactly what you guys see, but I have a feeling it doesn't show up properly. So maybe I'm gonna take some pictures and you will you will see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, this is the finished look. For those of you who want to emphasize your eyes, who want to bring the full... It is the look number two from this year's four uh, extremely quick makeup looks that I'm creating for the holidays. Uh, for those of you who want a little bit more definition for your eyes, who have a little bit more time than the first look that I did, by the way, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. It's super simple and uh, it is one of those looks that you need to know. Just, you know, whenever you have absolutely no time, it's gonna be a lifesaver. As always, this look can be upgraded with beaming highlighter to get you in that holiday uh, festive mood and the other one with a nude lip to get you that 90s feel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna talk to you soon. Stay healthy, gorgeous, and beautiful.